So anyway, you never answered my question about why all gyroscopes and pe pendulums and superfluid phase coherence measurements uh, and all of them show that we rotate every I time. I said you... the sun and the moon have a yeah. negative charge. Uh, uh, have again, a positive and negative charge. again, and that would not cool affect and light and it would not affect things that are not metal. Again. The sun and the moon move above the earth. They're Correct. local. Correct. That would not affect the... what's happening with measurements. It does because no. Uh, okay. Um, are you okay? Listen to the words coming out of my mouth. Listen to the words coming out of my mouth. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Right. There is no way a makes... fiber optic gyroscope could detect the movement of something above it, way up in space or up in the sky that it's is emitting not in space. some kind. It's local. Or, uh, it's okay. local. So, you it's know, 20 miles, miles, whatever, whatever, right? It could not detect that, even if it was putting out some kind of massive magnetic field. A fiber optic gyroscope would not detect it because light has zero charge, therefore is not affected by electromagnetism. Light has zero charge, yet they power solar panels, correct? Correct. Right, okay. Yes, right. light Nobody has zero said. charge, and you can use light to power solar panels, correct? Those things are not incompatible. Your ignorance of physics and science is not an argument against it. You don't need ignorant. You don't. You don't have to understand physics and science. This you is clearly what you know. don't. Uh, I'm sitting here. We have lakes that are perfectly still. We're not moving. Okay. We have. We. Why, can, why would is, the lakes not be still? Where do the sun and the moon move above us? We don't why move. would the lakes? Wait, wait. We why would the lakes are. not be still? What well, you said. We have lakes that are perfectly still. Why would they not be still? If the Earth was constantly moving, spinning, and rotating through space at 540,000 miles an hour, okay, at 66,000 miles an hour around the sun, and moving... No, no, one degree per day around the sun. Down. One degree per day around the sun. One degree right. per day around the sun. One it year, do, it does. That's how you calculate what the forces are uh, imparting. Tangential speed. No, no, no. At, again, tangential speed is irrelevant times because the speed of sound. Right. Uh, no, it's not times the speed of sound because speed is relative to a medium. There is no medium so, in so space. So how can we not listen, feel that listen, 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 so listen, 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 right? Speed is relative. There is no absolute speed. Do you understand what I just said? Speed is relative. That's what. That's what science wants you to think. Okay? No, no, that's a fact. That that's, that's physically Isaac a fact. Newton came up with a theory of relativity to try to make. No. Listen. <laughs> 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 She's on a roll. We're never gonna break her from the stop. We did not. Oh, we can't feel it because of relativity. Isaac Newton did not come up with a theory of relativity. Or Einstein, excuse me, Einstein did. And Einstein. speed is relative is not the same as the theory of relativity. Is the moon below your eye level? The horizon does not rise to eye level. Well, can you see the picture I'm showing you right now? What is that? Right, that is the moon like a, below a eye level. Or something. Yeah, that's the moon below eye level, which means the horizon has not risen to eye level. Uh, this is... Um, 5,600 feet up Mount Wilson, California, um, with a reference point of eye level, and the horizon has not risen to eye level. Um, right, but here, here here's is the thing, just though, there's 70 there's feet cloud above. cover in the back. Okay, so let me explain these pictures here. So in the back, go back to the other picture. Wait, wait, uh, uh, on, let me finish. On this one, you know, about, you know, a few feet above, the uh, 70 feet above uh, sea level, and the horizon has not risen to eye level. Um, so let's go back to okay. the first one, and gonna, how, how can you debunk you look, the moon being below the eye level? Okay, in this photo right here, okay, if the moon is on the horizon, okay, if the moon is right above the horizon, this is it, not, not a, a live feed, okay? We don't know if this is real or not. What well, yeah, my friend took at. this on his phone. Okay, it's great. Your friend can take everything on his phone, but that doesn't prove shit. Because well, this we also has a reference as to what is eye level. 
we know that the moon would never be below the horizon because if it was, we it, wouldn't correct. be able to see it's it. Correct. It's not below the horizon. It's below eye level and it's above the horizon, meaning the horizon correct. is also below eye level. So what I'm saying is, but that's not eye level though. Eye level well, is I, I, No, it actually shows you what eye level is on the screen. In fact, no, it's point zero. it's point... Um, one degree above eye level. Right, Just but if point you set that degree. to zero, of course, if you set that to zero, Greg, you're, you're Craig, you're going to see, you can set no, zero. No, it, it, tells you that, it tells you that based on gravity, that you actually use this gravity to measure. There is no gravity. Things. I explained that earlier, okay? I mean, there definitely gravity is gravity. Is ridiculous. I, mean, I, call it gravity I mean, it's been measured, it's yeah, but but anyway, this is showing the moon below eye level above the horizon. So uh, horizon does not rise to eye level. I mean, uh, uh, guys, the truth is in plain sight. They literally, Eminem, famous rapper, I'm sure you've heard of him. Here we, he doesn't he, think the earth is flat. There was a, okay. He doesn't, but the, what he says is, snap back to reality, Oop, there go, oops, there goes gravity. Le Red Hot Chili Peppers had a song called Californication. And yeah, in that songs song, are cool, say, but songs aren't evidence. Right? What, what are we seeing here? Tell me what we're seeing here. This is the sun, okay, this is a plane, okay? flying and it's moving and it's actually above this it's actually parallel to where the plane is okay listen to what i'm not about to tell you okay over the course of thousands of miles there's a lot of clouds in between the sun and the plane and it appears that it's in the sun but it's actually above as it's coming around the earth as it's coming over top and as it gets closer it goes higher in the sky what the hell did you just say okay oh, if that sun were 93 so million miles away all that sky would be lit up not if, if the sun away. is moving away it will appear to get smaller in your camera no. It's the max zoom, zoom at the beginning of the day, and it's max zoom at the end of the day. The yeah. zoom level doesn't that. change. Show me, show me the curvature, please. Please show me the curvature of the Earth. I'd love to see this one. I love. So to you see did. This okay, one. right. Uh, uh, right. Uh, so you've lost on that point. When we move over to the curvature. I haven't point. lost anything. You, you won't lit. listen to me, so it's pointless. Yeah. So you just, I, I, you I just lost on that part. That's fine. So curvature of the Earth. Curvature. I also sent you a video showing you the moon landing was fake. Everybody right, in the states knows that. We all know it. It's all a hoax. They make fun of it on oh every other TV show. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You've you've sent something from a comedy show from two thousand and two. Do you know that? What? How they make fun of it on every other TV show? No, 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 no. What you've no, shown no. is literally from what you've sent me is literally from a comedy show in two thousand and two. It is not a video from the moon landing. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying, how ridiculous it is. That's what I'm saying, how... I, you want me to send you Stanley... No, uh, no, no, no. Death again, death again this, this, was, this was, was a... Fake. This was a video student creating something, you know, for his for his work as a student. Because every and, 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 you're, and you're trying to tell me that this is going. proving that... that oh, let, let me just put this up so everyone can see how fucking dumb you are. No, I'm not dumb, dude. Everybody so, knows in this case go, the moon guys. landing is a hoax. This and they is make his evidence the moon landing time. is fake. Here we go. This is brilliant. Show us that the moon landing was real. How about that? So this is your evidence that the moon landing is fake. Now there's more than that. So just let's just think no, no, about no, no, this. No, 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 Look no, at the blast video. Creator. Are you telling me that you think this is an actual video from NASA? What I'm telling you is everybody knows the moon landing was fake and they make fun of it all the time. <laughs> That's the funniest damn thing I've ever heard! Right, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, Dude, just so just watch anyway, some of you 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 just you gave a video from an art student in 2002. Yeah, yeah. We can go to, you know what? We can go to Mars and put and put a rover on Mars, but yet we can't go back to the moon because we've lost that technology. He literally, I say taco, they say taco. Taco, taco, taco. We are going ridiculous? back to the moon. We literally are going back to the moon. So you know. No, we're not. We've been we, saying that for 25 years. It's lit. We can't go back. It's literally happening. So you know.
Everybody, okay, they, they, they've been literally saying it's going to happen for the last 25 years. And yeah, they but they've haven't. never you know said, because they've never given it a date. They've us. never okay, given they it a date before, their, have they? Oh, they're not on the moon. They've never given a no. date before, but they're giving a date now. They're going back to the moon to stay. In okay, a and I bet you, and I bet you, I bet you a million dollars says they don't go on that date. They may delay it. It's already been delayed once during the coronavirus. We don't know what's going to happen, but that is the date they're aiming for. Because they never went. You can't go to the moon. I mean, I, I've you literally can't. bounced lasers off of the things they left on the moon, but you know. No, again, you can't see any of that stuff. You can't. It's not I can there. bounce lasers off of it. No, you can't. That's a I've, myth. I've done it. Man. I've literally done no, it. No, you haven't. Yes, I literally Wait, have. At all. Nobody has. It's a it myth. Is, it's, it's I've a myth. literally it's done it myself. Lies. I've look, literally look, done it. It's, what, what this is called is called cognitive dissonance, okay? No, no I've literally it. done it. I didn't imagine that. It's I've crazy. literally done it. No, you haven't. So you say, no, I, you I have. literally have. No, you haven't. No I've laser can it. go 248,000 miles. I'm sorry, uh, it's not I possible. I mean, you don't have what light works, obviously. Laser, you have to go know. through the atmosphere and yep. through all that thick shit in the atmosphere, which is not going to happen. Very powerful you lasers. Done. You have... Nut uh doesn't work here. I don't care about your nut uh and personal incredulity. So anyway, um curvature of the earth, right? Now you might be able to bounce a laser off the moon two or three miles up, but not two hundred feet miles up. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Nobody has ever your taken personal a video incredulity of doesn't change anything. Thing ever of any ever bounce uh, a laser Brad, off your personal moon. incredulity is not my that is issue. Most thing I've ever heard. Again, your personal incredulity is not my issue. So, anyway. Show me the video. Show me where anybody has pointed a laser at the moon and it's bounced off. It's not yeah, possible. Yeah, there's one on the Veritasium YouTube channel, actually. Right. Yeah, just go. The crew here has agreed to once again aim for the Apollo 11 reflector. Right underneath that spot is the Apollo 11 site, and Ken is, is adjusting uh, the pointing of the telescope so we, we point as absolutely as we can to something that we can't see. That's why it's very difficult to do that. Our light's going from here to the moon and back. And uh, these corner reflectors reflect the energy that strikes it back to the Earth. And if we're lucky, that energy comes back into our telescope and we detect it. Did you get another one? Yeah, he's got another one, another return. Go to Veritasium. Uh, he's got it's. I think it's got about 133 million views. So anyway, Dude, you can't um, bounce a laser off off of the moon. You can't. I mean, the fact it's been laser. done very much disagrees with you. A laser. But you know, nut right. is is uh, that must be your superpower, the nut power. Anyway, right. so and curvature again, of the Earth. I so uh, I want I, I want to. I asked my college professor that, and he said the same. Thing. You never went to college. Don't lie to me. Um, yeah. He didn't agree with it. He never went to the moon. I've known we haven't gone to the moon for 20 some years. Okay, yeah, you, Jim you've been dumb for 27 years. Congratulations. You've been dumb for 27 years. He was years. laughing at it because it never happened. You've been dumb for 27 years. Congratulations. Well done. Hey, Christopher Kane. How you doing, dude? Nice to see you here. One second. Be quiet. I just want to talk to one of my awesome supporters. Hey, Christopher Kane. I'm glad you came, dude. Um, thank you very much for being such an awesome supporter. Always good to see you in the chat. Sorry, you were saying. Look, anybody that has nine hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, go buy a Nikon. No, C900 don't. They're terrible camera. cameras. They are awful. Go cameras. to the shoreline and watch a boat appear to go over the horizon. Then take that camera and zoom in, and it's right there, right in your face. It doesn't go over a horizon. It's oh, still there. Incorrect. And you can see the boat from the bottom up. No, you can't. I can prove that wrong they right now. Can. Have a look at this. Where's the bottom of the boat? Hey, where is it? Where's the bottom of the boat? Dude, again, if you zoom in, just zoom in oh, on Oh, no, no, this zoomed in and it didn't happen. Of course, there are so certain things that camera can only zoom so far. If you zoom in on the boat all the way on the right, Guess what you're gonna guess what you're gonna see? That right there is also called refraction. Okay? Refraction. Yeah, refraction, the refraction actually works the opposite of that. It brings things up, not down. Um, so, um, so is your claim that you can zoom in to bring the bottom of those boats back? Is that correct? 
Yes, if you zoom do you wanna, out. Do you want to bet? Do you want to right now place a bet for a thousand dollars that zooming in on boats will not bring them back? Dude, I, I've already seen videos that it does. Well, well, right? I'll place a bet on you right now for a thousand dollars that I can disprove it. What do you reckon? How how are you going to disprove that? You can't. With this, pay attention. So this is Dazza the cameraman, um, mm -hmm. uh, using a Nikon P1000. Funny enough, uh, and you can see you've got these uh, these ships in the distance. Um, yep. We're going to look. We're going to look at the the two on the left, the one that's pretty much on the horizon, and one that appears to have gone over the horizon. Now, what what right. Dazza does is he zooms in, and he takes a screenshot at this point. So at this zoom level, this is how much of that boat is visible. So if your hypothesis of zooming in to bring the boat back above the horizon is true, as you zoom in, more of that boat would appear. However, what happens when he zooms in and takes another screenshot? Oh, here we go. He zooms in from the video, takes another screenshot. And this isn't just zoomed in on the picture, it's actually playing. You know, he's just showing, he's just pausing it when it's going. So this is, this is the video. So then he zooms in, he takes the next screenshot, and then he places the screenshots next to each other. The one at the bottom is just the enlarged version of the one we saw before. And the one at the top is when it is zoomed in a bit more. And as you can notice quite clearly, no more of the boat on the left is visible above the water than before. In fact, the proportions are exactly the same. So as we can see, clearly, zooming in does not bring things back above the horizon. Um, not take, every I, time. Oh, it's so it just happens sometimes. That's called special pleading. If it's further away than what the camera can, can actually see, you can't be able to do that because clearly in that photo oh but the camera can see it though the camera can see it quite clearly we can make out the yes, entire the boat oh my god dude if the, okay so the boat that it zoomed in on now the big one okay yep right mm -hmm. far away like it was below the horizon and we zoomed in on and it came back and it wasn't the uh, other show boat me that video then because i say that doesn't away. i've just shown so a video that shows that doesn't called. happen you are that's arguing called. with reality that i have just shown you this isn't, this is reality. It's called vanishing point and perspective, okay? Yeah, okay. Right, stop that. Silly. Okay, anyway, uh, what's your issue with not, how much do you not understand gravity? Gravity was made up, okay? No, it wasn't, it was what observed. What gravity is, is density and buoyancy. Those oh, buoyancy, things... so you do agree with gravity then? Wait, wait, you huh? said buoyancy, that means you agree with gravity. No, what, 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 what this is, so you're telling me, so you're telling me the earth can hold down trillions of gallons of water, okay, trillions of gallons of water, but it can't hold down clouds or a butterfly at flight? Dude, that's, that's absurd. Hi. Hi, Poncho. <coughs> Say hello. 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 That's uh, absurd. You not understanding you things loudly is very fun. Um, the so physics of water, the physics of water, okay. water doesn't water have any physics. Water doesn't have any physics. Water does not have its own physics. It reacts to forces acting upon it, like all matter. So, um, gravity wasn't invented; it was observed. There right. is a thing called, called the uh, natural. There is a thing called, called the natural it's called law. It's called density when something uh, falls. No, 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 no. There is the natural law of universal gravitational attraction. That, okay, that? so who so who came up with that? A scientist with a white coat on, and you're supposed to believe I that person without. I don't think Newton wore a white coat. Gravity oh, I've, is I've, not, but you know what? I've actually tested that. It's not science. It's not provable or testable. It's not. It, except that it's measurable. It's not measurable. It's it's except density. that I've measured it. Um, Blue Marble Science has measured it. Uh, BM Marble, uh, or both friends of mine have measured it. It's very, very easy yeah, to measure gravity. gravity. No, you, you can't. Can, yeah, you can. It's you can measure it very, very easily. No, you can't. You can I say no, -uh, but it, it's a thing called the Cavendish experiment, which very much disagrees with you. Okay. So anyway, well, you said buoyancy. Um, you know, when you say buoyancy, that means you agree with gravity, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you some stuff, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking. Do you know when you say buoyancy, that means that you agree with gravity? 
No, because yes. when you now, drop what an is the equation for buoyancy? Dude, math what is, is not equation? reality. What is the equation for buoyancy? It is because you use that to calculate buoyant force. No, it's not. What, what is because the equation for buoyancy? Why. I'll tell you why. Because you can drop what an orange What is the equation water. for buoyancy? Let me, let me look it up. Everything rho, has an equation rho in math, VG. but that doesn't mean it's real. Right? The equation for buoyancy is rho vg. That g stands for the acceleration due to gravity. You cannot have buoyancy without gravity. Again, this is testable. Um, and also, a uh, quick, quick question for you. What has more mass, the entire ocean of Earth or a butterfly? Uh, the, the Earth does, of course. The, the, the oceans have more mass than the butterfly, yes? Correct. Right. Um, which of these two has wings? The ocean or a butterfly? A butterfly does. Right, right. So a butterfly has less mass, so it's less affected by gravity, and it's got wings which can create a force in the opposite direction to gravity. Whereas the ocean, just... which has an extremely large mass, so it is more affected by gravity, also does not have wings to create a force in the opposite direction of gravity. <laughs> I just sent you, I just sent you some stuff, okay? I'm sending you some photos now. I realized that I had on my phone, so you can see these. Yeah, we've already gone through the Lake Chicago thing. Um, you should be able to see uh, the stuff. Um, Again, dude, there's no... Yeah, you're just sending me memes program. now. 8 inch per mile yeah. squared. Do you know where 8 inch per mile squared came from? It came from Samuel Robotham misreading a leveling manual from a surveyor. Um, Right, okay, let's just go to the, uh, right. Here's what we're going to do, right? One thing that you said, um, it was quite near the end, was that every single weather balloon that is sent up with a camera shows the horizon is flat, right? You said that. Yep, yep. Okay, please show me... Without a fish eye lens, yes. Without yeah, yeah, no, 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 exactly, lens. exactly. Please show me a video without a fish eye lens or a 3D lens that shows the horizon to be flat. All I want is one. Can you do that? Okay, hold on. Yeah, 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 hold on. And it's something. got a not, you've got to tell me what the camera is. You've got to show that it's not a fisheye lens. <coughs> hold on, and hold on. I'm gonna, well, I think I've got that stored on here already. Oh, I really should download Mr. Sensible's video while we're not got it there. All right. Mr. Sensible, thank you for doing this. I gotta, I gotta get going here soon. I've got a call, another call I gotta make. Cool. I, I just I want that things. one video of a non-fisheye lens showing the horizon on, to be hold flat. On, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm looking for it now. I've got. I'll it. tell you now, it doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. No, it, it really was. Doesn't. There was a school. There was a school in Arizona that sent up a GoPro on a on. A
GoPros have fisheye lens. And it got up like a hundred that this GoPro did not. No, this no, GoPros literally all have fisheye lens. Okay, this one did not. It no, was it literally a, all GoPros have fisheye lens. A different camera, okay, whatever it was. It was it was like a GoPro, but it recorded it without a fisheye lens, 100,000 feet yeah, up. Yeah, cool, show me black. that video then, show me it. Um, go and Google it's score in Arizona weather bloom. I got a lot of stuff here. Because here's the thing, right? I spent an entire day searching for a video with a non-fisheye lens that shows the horizon to be curved uh, flat from a weather balloon. And there isn't- And it's hard to find. There's Why not do one. Do this? However, download, there is videos, there is videos of um, non-fisheye lens on a weather balloon clearly showing the curvature of Earth's horizon. Clearly. All right, so um, have you got yours ready? Because apparently it should be easy to find. No? You still there? He, he's either rage quit or his internet is really bad. Brad, you still there? Yeah, that might be a rage quit, guys. Oh, I can't find the video. Uh, I better leave. This one's been a bit of a dumpster fire, huh? This one uh, gets me right. Yeah, he's gone. Um.